I, on the show, I hate it when they mutilate it all and eat it. <laughs> so I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to resist. That's because the camera people normally yeah. do afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <They're> on. <laughs> yes. Thanks. No. So nice to see you. Now, a 23-year-old man from Bristol has achieved his dream of becoming a film director. Stefan Clatworthy from Bristol has cerebral palsy and can't walk or talk. But thanks to a voice simulator and the support of Noel West Media Centre, he's made his debut film. I chose to make my first film about disabled skiing because I love the sense of freedom it gives to people like me. That's me zooming down the slopes in my sit ski. I've had severe cerebral palsy since birth. It means I can't walk, talk, or have full control of my movements. But I do understand everything that's being said and what's going on. So you can imagine how frustrating it is being unable to speak. I love my talking machine. This fold is all about your ideas and scripts and everything for your film. I haven't seen it before, Stefan. It's very good. Growing up in the family with my brother Ben, we had our own ways of communicating. So we grew up doing signs, and then we had your book, and then various older devices, and now this one. It's brilliant, isn't it? When I got my voice, it stopped you doing the talking for the both of us. I've come to Knoll West Media Centre in Bristol, where I've been able to pursue my dream of filmmaking. Can you tell me about the aims of the Gold Arts Award? The Gold Arts Award is a formally recognised arts qualification. Um, it's all about personal development in the arts and it's about leadership in the arts. You were focused on directing. Did you have any worries about taking on someone like me? Yes, I did, because you are so driven and motivated. When you came to us for your first film, you wanted to make an hour and a half full length feature film. And I literally was like, oh my goodness, like we're never going to have a budget for that. So after talking to you about it, we agreed it would be a short film, which is much more achievable. So how did you find working with me? Did you think it would be a bit of a challenge? I didn't think of it as a challenge, more as a sort of adventure in a sense, because we just had to find slightly different ways of approaching things. But my goal was to sort of help you out, uh, achieve your vision in a sense. We used this technology to uh, communicate, and so you had questions recorded beforehand, which we were going to ask interviewees. Tell me what you like about skiing. It's just because it's fun, I enjoy it, and it's what I probably never thought I would do. I'm planning to make more films about life as a disabled person. Watch this space. Fabulous. It looks like a great film. Mm, yeah. Now, here's a political row that's been rumbling on for the last 40 years. It goes back to the days when ring roads and dual carriageways were being built all over the place. 